Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mrs. Steger here and we're going to start with light white box learning today. It's the CAD design software I showed some of you last class. Uh, what you're going to do is go to the white box learning website, whiteboxlearning.com, and you're going to go to the login. Um, when you get to the login, um, the teacher will give you a login code that you can use. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go up to student login and you're going to select one of the modules. Um, today I'd like you to start with green car but after we get started with that you may use whatever you would want. You're going to enter your student ID and you are going to enter the group ID. The group ID for all of you is 1135. Again you're going to enter your student ID and you are going to enter the group ID. So for this particular one, I'm going to enter uh, the student ID, again the substitute teacher will be giving you that, and I'm going to log in. Now as soon as I log in, um, I'm going to get this screen, um, but for those of you who are in the back on the computer, this is not enough. You are going to have to install something called Unity Web Player. So as soon as you log in, you're going to open another tab and you're going to type in Unity Web Player, just like that. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to Unity Web Player and you're going to go to the very first tab which is Unity Web Player Download. And you're going to go down here where it says Unity Web Player for Windows and you're going to click on Download. And then you're going to get a screen that will say down here, um, and it's not showing up right now, um, but you'll have options. And you're, what you're going to do is the option that is run and save. There's going to be a little arrow down here. Don't just click it. Please push the little arrow and then go run and save. After you push that, you will have, once you have Unity Web Player installed, you go back to your green car, and you're going to refresh it. It'll go a little bit faster than this. And the worksheet the sub has given you. And the worksheet is broken into two parts. It's broken into day one. Um, today, I just want you to finish day one of the worksheet. Um, I made it pretty easy for you. It all goes in order, so it will not be that difficult. And what you're going to do is, okay, so as I said before, you're going to click on research. And when you go into research, you are going to get all of these screens and you're going to kind of do them in order. Um, they're kind of long and tedious but I know you guys and I know you're going to skip ahead and try to just answer the questions and not read the information. Um, I'm asking that you don't do that. Um, I'm going to ask that you time yourself and you spend about 20 minutes working on these um, and some of them will help you um, get to the actual test. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit more. Then after you spend about 20 minutes working on this, what you can do is you can actually start learning how to build. Now, if you're going to learn how to build, it starts under solar charging. If you notice right down here, there is a tutorial. Again, I know you guys just like going forth and doing things, but if you click on the tutorial, it will tell you basically how to get started. So it will tell you to do the engineering tab. And by the way, if the engineering tab does not work, it's because you did not properly download the Unity Web Player. And then what you can do is you can start, you use the eye to view, and you can start messing around with stuff. So like for the solar panel, we talked about this the other day. You can pick where you want it to be. Um, you can set the azimuth. Um, every time you do something though, make sure you hit apply or nothing will happen. Now you notice the amps now is 0.62. Um, let's change the elevation a little bit. So let's take the elevation to 100. And I'm gonna again I click apply and now the amps went to 0 0.90. Again, not great, but look at my cloud cover. So what I can do is I can pick another location. Uh, again, hit apply every time. Now I've increased a little bit. And so you can play around with that. Then you're gonna get to the actual building. Um, so click done when you're done. If you don't want to see it, you turn off the eye. And when you get to the actual building over here, there is the frame. And then you have some choices. Now you have the length, the width, the thickness, um, the material. Now, right now it's on balsa wood. Now watch what happens if I hit plywood. So the pre-cut mass right now is 387 and the cost is 32 cents. So I hit plywood and I click apply. Apply. All right, sorry. I'm going to do basswood or basswood. 
Okay, and now my cost has gone up, but my mass has gone down. Now, why the mass and cost is important is your car is going to have to meet specifications, and those specifications are listed under outputs. So if you go to the design specification report, which is over here, it will tell you where your car needs to be. And as you can see right now, I am out of range. The last thing I'm gonna kinda of tell you for today, and I'm gonna see how this goes, is again, you're gonna to return to engineering. When you are all done, and let's say you think you have a car that's pretty good, okay? So we'll go to the, we'll close this out. We'll look at my side profile. I'm gonna round it out here, and I'm gonna move some of my points. And let's say I think this car is pretty awesome. What I'm going to have to do, and this is very important, is I'm going to have to save it. And you save it going through File. You're going to save a working copy, and you need to name it. If you do not do this, it will not save your car. This is not an automatic save program. So that's a little bit. I'm going to do another video to help you out, but this is kind of hard to get